Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and yeah, the news is out. We have won LEGO Masters Season 4. And because of our win, I was able to take home a couple of very unique souvenirs from LEGO Masters to commemorate my time on the show. From specialized LEGO Masters contestant gift sets, to signed pieces from Will Arnett, aka LEGO Batman, and even maybe something I swiped off of the LEGO Masters sign, I was able to take home a lot of memorabilia from the LEGO Masters set, and I'm so excited to actually showcase all of them for all of you. And so, let's jump right into my showcase of a ton of very unique, rare, and one-of-a-kind LEGO items that I was able to get from my time on LEGO Masters Season 4, and what an absolute blast that was. Okay, so I am super excited to open this package. This video is not going to come out for a very long time, but let me open it up anyways. I literally just got this today after returning home from LEGO Masters a couple of weeks ago, and let's check this out. Okay, so it says to Christopher. That looks like it's a handwritten note. I cannot wait to open this up, but let's look at this first. So it is a chrome gold keychain. Oh, that is so cool. So these are the signatures of Jamie and Amy the Brickmasters. Oh yeah, there we go, Jamie Berard. You can see Amy there. Oh, this is so cool. So they have signed the chrome gold keychain. Of course, just like the golden brick, they actually have the chrome gold keychain fully signed. Oh my goodness, this will be really treasured in my collection, and I cannot wait to put together a kind of shrine dedicated to LEGO Masters. I've actually managed to collect a lot of random souvenirs from the show. I stole a piece from the sign for LEGO Masters, like the sign when the doors open, so I'll put that there. I'll put my signed items from Will Arnett there, which I'll showcase in another video. And now, I've got the signed brick from the Brick Masters as well, which is totally amazing. Of course, the thing I'm really excited about, though, is the note, so I really want to just carefully open up this letter and see... Oh my goodness, is that like a specialized LEGO card? Yes, it is. Oh, it's like a light bulb. Oh, cool. Now, this here may be one of the rarest LEGO items in my collection, because this is only given to people who have competed in LEGO Masters as well as some of the cast and crew in pretty much any season throughout the world. Not even just the US version. So if you competed in the Germany version, the UK version, some of the Asia versions, and of course the very famous Australia version, you probably will have received this model as well. Even though it is basically an exclusive, you can build it out of standard LEGO pieces. I believe the instructions are out there if you do want to recreate this yourself. But what's really special about this is that it came in a special specialized packaging. They use the standard GWP packaging that they normally use for other sorts of specialized promo LEGO items, and this was really, really special to receive on pretty much the last day of filming. I got this set, and I am so happy to have added it to my collection. Absolutely, we'll be putting it on display. Now, right now, I'm actually currently setting up a museum-style showcase display for the box itself. Really, what's only special about it is the instruction manual, because the box is identical to a lot of other boxes that we've gotten for the GWPs but the manual is special. This is a really nice rendition of the LEGO Masters logo. I find it interesting how this one is actually rarer than the color version. They made a yellow and red version of the exact same model that they gave out as a GWP, I believe, in some countries. I know in Hungary they gave it out as a GWP in some of the Hungarian LEGO stores. But this, this is special because it is just the black and white version, or I guess the gray and white version, of the LEGO Masters logo, which is a contestant-only prize, which is really, really special to add to my collection. I am so, so excited to finally showcase the contents of this Ziploc. I've literally been holding on to this for months, and this is probably one of the most monumental random Ziplocs I have in my LEGO collection. I still can barely believe it myself, but let's see what's inside. So, on the final viewing for the final episode, for the final filming, our families were there, we had no idea who was going to win. I walked in and I had this dream of always wanting to get Lego Batman related items signed by Will Arnett. And I'd been asking and asking all season and what they said was, well, you know what, when you get eliminated, we can arrange for you to have them signed. And so I kept making it through episode after episode and it was getting a little worrying because I was like, well, I'm not getting eliminated. I don't want the show to end, and I never got these Batman items signed because I thought it would be really cool to have Will Arnett, the voice of Lego Batman, of course, sign some Batman-related items. And they just kept saying, you know what, just, just hold on, just wait, we'll see if we can fit it in, but no guarantees, is what they kept saying. 
So finally, it was hours before the finale announcement of the winner. And I went up to one of the producers and I said, Hey, look, I've got this Ziploc. It's full of pieces of Lego Batman stuff. I'm not expecting get to get everything signed. You know, like, if he can just sign one item, I would be so happy. But look, we're, we're about to walk into the filming to figure out who won Lego Masters Season 4. This is literally my last chance to get these signed. And so the producer said, okay, you know what? Give me the bag. I'll see what we can do. And so I walked in, and obviously, I mean, this was the last thing on my mind, walking into that room and seeing our families there and seeing them about to announce who would win the trophy and take home the prize and get their model made into an actual Lego set. Literally, the last thing on my mind was this. I, I mean, I had completely forgotten already, but believe it or not, spoiler alert, they announced we won, I was freaking out, and confetti rained down from the ceiling when they made the announcement, and <laughs> that very confetti is right here. So... I was able to get a few pieces of the confetti as souvenirs, which I will be holding on to. I, I mean, I don't even know, for a future LEGO museum or something, I mean, it's just probably random store-bought confetti, but this is so special to me that I was able to hold on to these because this was the moment that we found out we won LEGO Masters. And so, out of nowhere, producer comes up, Jamala, huge shout out, you're the best, hands me the bag, hands me my Sharpie and says, ask him right now. And I was like, oh my god. So I run up to Will Arnett and I'm like, hey, look, this has been such a pleasure. I've had such an amazing time being on this season and interacting with you for the past, like, two months. Can you sign some Lego items for me? And he was like, oh, of course. Like, he was the best. He was really gracious about it. He was like, yeah, of course, I'll, I'll sign whatever you want. So I had him sign not only the windscreen to the original Speedwagon, the very first Batmobile he uses in the Batman movie, I also had him sign over the Batman logo sticker for the hood, which I figured, you know what, if I'm going to deface a Lego set and have someone write over a sticker, like, it might as well be this one, so I had him sign over the Batman logo sticker. I also had him sign one of the windscreens to the Ultimate Batmobile. This is for the large-scale Ultimate Batmobile that converts into multiple different vehicles. I had him sign that one. Of course, I had him sign the torso of the initials for the Lego Batman movie minifigure. This one... I cannot wait to display in my own collection. Oh my goodness, this is going to look so cool on my Batman minifigure wall with Will Arnett written on it directly from the man himself. And I also had him sign an extra piece that is kind of just a random, like, black element. Didn't really have anything that I wanted to do with this one. It doesn't really necessarily correlate to anything Batman related, but I figured, you know what, it's like a display stand. Like, might as well if I wanted to, like, put the minifigure on a display stand. But you know what? In the months since being on LEGO Masters, I got a chance to meet many superheroes today. If you don't know, he lives in Nashville, Tennessee, one of the biggest LEGO superheroes collectors out there, and he has a collection of signed LEGO items from actors and actresses and movie directors and all sorts of folks, and I figured, you know what? He's probably going to appreciate something like this more than me. I mean, this is very monumental to me from a sentimental point of view, but I don't need five different items signed by Will Arnett that's Batman related. So I'm about to leave for my flight to Nashville, and he does not know yet, but I'm going to be giving him a signed piece from Will Arnett himself. The signature is right here for Lego Batman. Um, I, I hope that he likes it. I, I can't wait to actually give it to him. Maybe I'll include his reaction in the video itself, but uh, very, very excited to actually have this be brought over and add to his own signed Lego collection, because I feel like if there's one Lego collector out there who would really value and treasure this, it's him. So I got this guy right here, and my goal with my Lego collection is to open up a Lego museum one day. And I think it would be really cool to have a little shrine dedicated to my time on LEGO Masters. I could have all these, like, signed pieces on there. A piece of the side, maybe, like, a printout picture of a screenshot from the show. And the confetti. And I will hold on to this and treasure this for a long, long time now. And hopefully, years in the future, I'll be able to showcase this at a future LEGO museum. And y'all saw it here first on Duckbricks. I'm about to go to Nashville, Tennessee, so I'm going to go ahead and deliver this to Jonathan, a.k.a. Mini Superheroes today. Hope you likes the signed piece from Will Arnett. And the rest of this is going to go straight into my vault. I'm probably going to display these with the actual Batman sets for now. But in the future, I want to do a dedicated LEGO Masters display once the news is out. Once I get the trophy, I think it would be really cool to showcase all of that. So that's coming very soon, and I'm sure I'll do a video on that. But thanks for watching this Weird, I don't know if I'd call it an unboxing, an un unziplocking of my own things that I've managed to collect 
for my time on LEGO Masters. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at a collection of a ton of different LEGO Masters winners and contestant gifts that I was able to get, and even some things that, of course, I had specially gotten just to commemorate my time on the show. First of all, thank you so much to Fox LEGO Masters, to all the other contestants, the crew, for having such put together such an amazing experience. I mean, this is something I will never forget for the rest of my life, and absolutely, I mean... At the time I'm recording this, the episodes are not out yet, so I'm sure that when this video comes out, it will have actually really hit me that, yes, we won LEGO Masters Season 4, um, but this has been a phenomenal journey, and I have had an absolute blast being a part of the show, and thank you so much to everybody who have actually sent in some of these gifts and showcased them. Big shout out to Will Arnett, who was willing to sign like 50 different LEGO Batman items that I brought with me. This was such a blast. I hope you enjoyed this video and definitely stay tuned because there is a lot more content related to LEGO Masters coming your way very soon. And if you're not caught up yet, you can actually catch all of the season four episodes on Hulu. They are all on there right now. So you can go check them out if you miss them while airing on TV. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. And bye for now.